Hey, I'm Justin from Jacob Elk Reptiles. Hi, my name is Miguel Garcia from Always Evolving Pythons. I'm Brian Cusco. Hey guys, I'm Troy with Best Dressed Balls. Hey, this is Antoine from High Desert Pythons. Hey, I'm Bob from Bob's Balls. Hey, this is John Dagg, JD Constriction. Never watch. Never watch. And I never watch. Never. Never watch. BRH Reptiles. BRH Reptiles on YouTube. BRH Reptiles on YouTube. BRH Reptiles on YouTube. BRH Reptiles on YouTube. And I have no idea who BRH Reptiles are, and I definitely don't watch their videos. And I never watch BRH Reptiles on YouTube, and you should neither, to be honest. All right, everybody, it's time for day two, but first, pit stop. At the cigar bar, pick up a couple stogies to take it to the show. Let's get rolling today. All right, so I popped into my local cigar shop to pick up some cigars to take to the show. Maybe some people want to hang around. But I want to show you this because these are here. And what you don't know is I've got three Great Danes. And a few months ago, one of them had some puppies. So check out these boys. Check out these boys. Winston, Oliver. Hey, hey. Always oh, a good boy. Oh, <laughs> right in the camera. Look at these. How old are they now, Brandon? All right, so that's my buddy Brandon. Him and his wife work Hello. here, and they took a couple of the puppies. Who we got here? Oh, this is my wife Kelly. Hello. Mother of the leaf. Yes. Mother of the leaf. Mother Cigar of Brandon. the boys as well. Mother of the boys. <laughs> so these were a part of my litter, and now they have them, and I I haven't seen them in probably a month, month and a half. Look at the, oh my goodness, yeah. look at that big boy. They're almost four months old. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, finished picking up some cigars, head back to the show. All right, good people, we're here back for day two. So I think what I'm gonna do today is show you a couple more vendors uh, that, out he that are out here and um, go through what I found yesterday is my top, call it 10. Top 10, maybe not in order, maybe in order. I don't know, top 10 snakes, but I think I got a good list. Let's go. All right, this table is SMS Morphs. They are from Longview, Texas. So local here to Texas. And I got some stranger stuff that I'm gonna ask them to show me. So let's take a look. Bryce? Yes, sir. Bryce at SMS Morphs. SMS. What do we got here? Uh, here's a, just a pastel stranger, female. Been a real fun project to work with so far. Pastel Stranger. Now this one is a triple head. Uh, it's head for pied, uh, high, uh, orange ghost, and clown. That is power. So Pastel Stranger, head, orange ghost, pied, and clown. That's it. That's a monster right there. <laughs> I've got a uh, pastel mahogany at home, mm -hmm. so it'll be cool to look back when she's this size. And, and see the difference. Yep. But I expect that there's going to be a difference. Oh yeah, I've done lots of comparisons and stuff to to do. We got the visual clown right here. Yeah, here's a pastel spot nose stranger clown. Pastel spot nose stranger clown. Beautiful. What are you going to mix with the stranger next? Actually, my first clutch this year should be a. Uh, was my uh, pastel pastel stranger clown to a pastel mahogany pet clown. So you're going stranger to mahogany. Right there, this one right here is a pastel Mojave stranger triple head. There's not a lot of stranger in the in the show around. No, there's so. not a whole lot out there right now. Not a whole lot. Cool. Well, thank you for showing me the Stranger project. No, Obviously, no got some other favorites of mine: the uh, Lesser Spot Nose, uh, Lesser Batman. Yes. We've got a uh, regular Batman in shed right there. See the difference? But overall, great table. Got some fire. Come check them out. All right, guys. The show is winding down, and I just ran into Miguel for the first time. Why do you have a better camera than I do? Um, I'm less baller, so I have to compensate. <laughs> Damn, that was a great response, dude. I mean, that was a, let's, that's a, let's face it. That's an amazing right? camera, though, man. No, dude, when Look I was... Look at my little thing, hold on. 
Sorry, because that's the first thing I noticed. Uh, when I was going to buy the camera, I actually asked Miguel what I should get. He said, man, don't get a really expensive one. And um, I didn't I didn't do that. No, you got a so really now, nice one, bro. But I mean, the, the quality, right? It's important. Yeah, it really, it really in all, is. In man. all seriousness, it was a great weekend, man. I missed you a lot during the weekend, but I know you're slammed lots of people. So I appreciate you. 100%. And then we still need to do some golfing, though, right? Because I'm actually going to be here in six weeks. Not, not reptile related. I'm actually just going to come here to check some stuff out. Oh, I think I know. Yeah. Man, I'm going to keep it. So yeah, so if you want to get a little golf game in, that would be cool. Because I'll have two days of not doing anything. And I love golfing. Okay. And plus, he said he could beat me, which... Well, how many I'm shots do I need to give you? Ten. A side? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Ten aside, And the winner buys Buca de Beppo? Yes. There we and go. Drinks, and drinks. I drink, so okay. All right, she drinks. Drink I'm pretty so. confident, and I don't drink much, so. Oh, damn. <laughs> All right, man. I appreciate it. Oh, no worries, brother. Cool. All right, number nine on the list is this super inchy, super orange dream leopard yellow belly pied at Justin Kabelka's booth. And I want to apologize to all the vendors out there who I missed focus on many of their snakes while recording for these segments. So if you look, hands and the backs of the bodies are more in focus than the actual snake. So big apologies there. Uh, you'll see that in the upcoming clips. But the reason why this snake is at number nine is it's not only visually stunning, it's also super inchy super orange dream with leopard and yellow belly and pied in there that is a power house snake everything's going to be inchy everything from it's going to be orange dream and that yellow belly and that pied obviously this is a heavy hitter and this comes in at number nine on my list all right also on my top list i think this is uh eight which, I mean, eight is, it belongs higher up on the list for sure. OD, YB, Fire, Leopard, Spot Nose, Desert Ghost. And it doesn't get any cleaner than this. This is right now the pinnacle of the Desert Ghost project. You want a clean snake uh, that just looks absolutely beautiful. I don't know that you can do much better than this. At least this is the pinnacle right now for Desert Ghost. And I'm not in Desert Ghost. It's never been my favorite uh, project to think about long term. But now after seeing this, absolutely is going to go to the top of the list. Uh, for sure, if you talk to Justin, Desert Ghost is, is imperative in your, in your projects. So this is going to get me in. I'm working for it. All right, on my list of favorite snakes at the show is a Superfly SK Exanthic from JD Constriction. Just super clean. I love the black and white. Pastel is not my favorite in anything other than maybe Desert Ghost or obviously Exanthic. So just a gorgeous snake here at the JD Constriction booth. I love it. Uh, this is a good one. All right, this is my number six. This is the Mahogany Red Stripe Yellow Belly Clown. This is at Justin Kabelka's booth, obviously. This is a great snake oh man the sides and the belly I love this of course this is from the dream school project with a little bit of mahogany in there I do have mahogany in the project so this is this is absolutely what I'm going for this is a gorgeous beautiful snake if I can get it to focus correctly there we go and it is so hard not to put this snake higher on the list but obviously there's a lot of banging snakes here um, this comes in at number six all right, this, this girl is at Bob's Balls booth. It's hard to say, triple B, Bob's Balls booth. And it is a pastel desert ghost clown. And I mean, it's just, I can't even describe how the, the color looks. It's just so flat, like a piece of cardboard paper with coloring on it. It looks so unreal, absolutely beautiful. And the pastel and the desert ghost go really well together. And of course, we all know that clown is king at least for me, and so it's an absolutely gorgeous snake. This wasn't my first pick at Bob's booth, but the first pick was a little bit more simple, and it's gone, um, but I was torn between that one and this one, and this one's got the recessive, uh, the double recessive, and so I think this is just a banger, and so this is one of my top 10 snakes of the show for sure. Thanks, Bob. Perfect. Yeah, I am. I don't know, what is this guy doing? Hey. Well, who are you and what are you doing? <laughs> I'm Max. I'm carrying around my camera. 
trying to get pictures of aliens. All right, you got, uh, okay, aliens. You got a channel? Uh, Max's View. Out? Max's yeah. View on YouTube? So, yeah. What's so, it about? Uh, so it's just my view of things, mainly wildlife. So whatever makes me happy, I want to share it with you guys. I'm just going to stamp the screen right here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, you guys, check him out, Max's View. All right, this is definitely in my top probably five at the show for sure. This is a banana black pewter hurricane clown female maker and he's just wild and he'll make some crazy things as well. So the pastel washes out a little bit. You don't get to see all of the hurricane pattern um, that you would, they would normally, but you can definitely tell it's still there. And what you do with this guy is, is the more important part of it. This guy is wild. Anytime you get banana and clown together, add a little hurricane, and you're you're doing something right. So this is um, again banana black pewter hurricane clown at best dressed balls. All right, now these two together are gonna make up my third of the show. This is the Kraken 2.0 project. Of course, a few months ago was the first clutch of Kraken. So these are from the the most recent clutch. If you haven't seen Justin's video, obviously go go check it out. But these are absolutely amazing, and there's still some stuff to unpack here. What exactly uh, is in there? But it's definitely we'll just call it the Wookie Clown uh, project because look, I don't know any better. But uh, I follow along. This this is this is one of the most banging at the show for sure. This is the Kraken 2.0 again. Wookie Clown Project. Love these snakes. All right, so I'm not gonna ask to take this one out of the case just because it's been so popular. This is a Cinnamon Mojave Monsoon from Kodak's Reptiles. And I was told this was from a head-to-head -head pairing and they got multiple visuals, so good for them. Cinnamon Mojave Monsoon, I think probably most expensive snake I've seen here at the show but one of the most exciting as well I think this is the only monsoon here and uh, this is a male and he's uh, he's beautiful absolutely beautiful if monsoon is your thing you would love this um, he's great so it's probably my number two of the show I think I'll, I'll settle there number two of the show all right, here with Liz from Royal Reptiles. Re Hi, Reptiles, my yes. first time meeting Liz, but I've seen her around on Instagram, right? Yeah. So Liz, what was your favorite part of the show? Just getting to see everyone again with everything from last year, oh, yeah. you know, all the friends that we make in the industry and everything. It's nice to be able to actually meet faces Absolutely. and not it's just important. be talking over the keyboard. Now, you were here in November, but the show was only kind of a half show, right? Like, yeah, there was a lot of vendors not here? There was a lot of vendors, yeah, that just didn't make it out, again, due to COVID reasons. And then, um, you know, there was kind of like a low attendance, I think, kind of for the same reason. Yeah. But, yeah, definitely a really good turnout for this yeah. show, which is surprising for a spring show. Usually we expect bigger turnouts in the fall. Cool. So, All right, if you guys haven't, check her out on Instagram. Throw your Instagram up there. Yeah, it's KE underscore Royal underscore Reptiles. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, um, and YouTube. And then we have our Reptile Revolution interview channel that we do every Wednesday night on YouTube at 8 o'clock. Seriously, she's a way better follower than me. Go do it. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so my overall favorite at the show, for sure, is maybe not the the crazy monsoon or the the double recessive but it's this inchy yb lavender pied i love the dream school project and this is just a great expression of how amazing it can be think about when you put od in this and of course my dream is to get this snake with clown in it that that uh the dream school clown is is ultimately the goal. So this is my number one of NARBC 2021. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this time. Everybody's closing shop, packing up, so I'm gonna head out. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the top 10 from today and a couple of uh, interactions with some of the other guys here uh, and gals here. So appreciate you coming. Next time, peace.